Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for mid-April. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Alright, that wanted to flip out. Now, Aquarius, I am primarily a love reader. That's what I'm going to focus on. But if there's anything else that wants to show up, I will address it, of course. And if this reading does indeed resonate in any way, um, then any interaction with it, whether it's a like or a comment or a subscribe, will not only help my channel grow, it's going to add your energy to the collective pool. And that's just going to make it easier for me to read for everyone just a little bit better. All right. Now, to start with, we have Ammonite with trust and Pallas. Now, Pallas, Athena, was the daughter of Zeus and she was the goddess of the mind. She was the goddess of intellect and logic and she was, she was a warrior queen. She was a warrior princess. Uh, no gender in tarot, but I feel like with Mercury doing a little dance in the sky, it's ready to go retrograde very soon. You are trusting your intuition more than anything. I have been talking about how uh, sometimes we confuse our mind with our intuition. Our mind prioritizes logic, facts, figures, things that we can see, right? But our intuition, our third eye, even though ironically it's located on your forehead, it trusts your sacral chakra for knowledge. It trusts your gut for that insight, right? which is why we have trust. Your mind and your intuition are very heavily integrated right now. There's something about being very independent, which is wonderful because you love that, don't you, Aquarius? Um, but, but there's also something about only relying on yourself for, for a sense of direction, okay? And then we have sextile, a combination of tension and flow, potential and a rewarding situation. Let's see. What is sextiling what? <clears throat> we have, oh, we have a couple of sextiles. On the 24th, we have Mercury, which is going to be retrograde by then, sextiling Mars in Cancer. We have the Sun in Taurus sextiling Saturn in Pisces. And then we have Mars in Cancer again, sextiling Uranus in Taurus. These sextiles, there's, there's an ebb and flow, right? There's a push and pull. It's almost like, your mind wants to do one thing, but your gut wants to do another. These two cards are suggesting an integration and that integration can only happen if you trust, right? If you trust in yourself. But let's see, let's see what we have. Now, I just got back from Italy and I got these beautiful handmade leather cards. I thought I will get an overarching theme for the reading before I pull your tarot. We have, oh, the star beautiful energy it's your energy aquarius trusting yourself plain and simple i feel like now that uh pluto is an aquarius it has put a spotlight on you to an extent because pluto doesn't move very often if this is a generational transit pluto moves every two decades give or so a few years this superpower that you have been blessed with you it's at your disposal for the next two decades there is some kind of transformation that is happening and it's stemming from deep within your psyche but there is a wish there is a wish that you have that you are almost laser focused on right now regardless of the ebb and flow regardless of the tension regardless of variables there's a trust there's a deep inner knowing that i am going to accomplish this let's see let's see what we have you see the potential in something. Let's just put it like that. We have the page of cups, curiosity and discovery. And what is so beautiful about this is that you're very flexible, right? Even though your ruler is Saturn, who can be a great disciplinarian, who is uh, someone who is very calculative, okay? Someone who doesn't like to waste time. That is that archetype of the principle. I'm seeing a fluidity because Saturn, again, has entered Pisces. It may be debilitated there, but Pisces, this, this cups energy, water, emotion energy is free flowing. It's fluid. So you're not restricting yourself. Saturn likes to put you and Capricorn in particular in a box that, all right, this is your life. 
you need to make your castle in this box you cannot get out of it i see you getting out of it i see you exploring new waters now when it comes to love some of you may be putting yourselves in the dating pool for example right you may have a certain archetype that you normally attract and you're understanding why it hasn't been working and you're kind of maybe shortening your checklist a little bit and trying to explore uh, new personalities in potential partners we have the tower which is great because we have the star the star always comes after the tower something happened here now whether you were already in a committed relationship or a situationship or whatever or this could even relate to something else within your personal life something was disrupted something came crashing down <clears throat> the tower always happens when the foundation that you're building that castle on that tower on is weak but what is beautiful is through all of that you are not losing your focus there's deep healing that's happening deep within you whether you realize it or you don't because you're being so fluid because you're not resisting this change right interesting we have the fool how stunning optimism freedom now a lot of readers it blows my mind why think of the fool as aries energy just because maybe it's the first card of the tarot and aries is the first sign of the zodiac the fool is not aries energy the fool is uranus energy right it is aquarius energy uranus is your modern ruler this optimism and this freedom it's it's woven itself into your psyche it's almost like nothing can get you down anymore you're just full of life there's a bounce in your step it's like you're taking a trust fall with the universe some of you may have been through a great ordeal and you may have stressed about it and huffed and puffed about it and it didn't really help it got you nowhere so there's a kesara there's a kesara energy about you right now that whatever is thrown my way i am going to take it and there's a new start because of that because you are trusting the universe it is sending blessings your way i was talking about how my dogs are awake give me a second sorry about that i was talking about how aquarians like to be independent right this is that freedom that you're after because you're cutting out variables and with trust this is that trust fall if you're familiar again with the original rider wait the fool is taking that leap off a cliff the fool doesn't know where it's going to land if it's going to break its head or it's going to float on a cloud but it's taking that leap regardless because it trusts the universe beautiful beautiful start i love it we have the king of wands leadership and success there is a fire sign in your midst or you may just have fire heavily in your chart but there is <clears throat> like i said a laser focus on something you know what you want right and again could be someone in your midst a fire sign maybe doesn't have to be but someone very passionate who again has their eyes on you someone who's very sure about you the king of wands again does not waste any time Let's see what else we have for the King of Wands. The Nine of Cups. You are a wish fulfilled for someone. You make someone very content and very, very happy and very satisfied. And if this hasn't shown up in your reality just yet, doesn't mean it's not going to because you are optimistic. So you're technically manifesting this, right? It's possible that, like I said earlier, even if saturn wasn't the one putting you in a box it was the people you were dealing with the king of wands is anything but a box archetype the king of wands is the salsa dancing king it is someone who again no gender in tarot just take the energy with you is someone who's vivacious and full of life who is not afraid to draw outside the to color outside the lines right so there's a wish fulfilled that is coming about here again with the star because there's a trust you know this is going to happen you know this energy is coming in and again if this is someone you already know well they're sharing your energy they're pretty much vibrating on the same frequency as you whether you realize that or you don't this card <laughs> it doesn't stop stop showing up it's insane the chariot has shown up in i think 80% of mid april readings i love it i'm a cancerian this is my card but again look at that direction will power 
I told you, you have a laser focus. You know where you're going. And even if you don't, that's a magic carpet, right? That is the universe steering your ship. Again, Mars is in Cancer. Mars doesn't like being in Cancer. Okay. But apart from the whole archetype of, not archetype, but the whole theme of passive aggressiveness that comes with Mars in Cancer, it also helps us see strength in vulnerability, strength in keeping our heart open, strength in, in, in swimming in our emotions just a little bit, which you're very comfortable doing with the Page of Cups. Right, that Pisces energy that I was talking about with Saturn in Pisces, your ruler being in Pisces, you're comfortable swimming and floating around. But at the same time, your intuition trusts, your intuition knows that the tide is going to take you where you want to be taken. This is fast forward movement. If you've been feeling that you're at a stalemate, that's changing. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Wands. You can't make this up. There is somebody around you. I, I don't know if this is someone you already know or it's someone brand new, but someone who ooh, with the four of cups, it's possible that it didn't work out in the past. It's possible that either an offer was rejected by you or your offer was, but that is changing with the ace of pentacles. For some of you, it could have been over a year since this happened, but we have recognition and success. I'm almost seeing a blossoming coming in. In your psyche Aquarius compassion and happiness because you're vibrating at a different frequency now you're not vibrating from a place of oh I don't have this oh I don't have that oh I am bitter you're just this beautiful little mermaid or merman floating around loving the ocean that's your home I don't know why I'm getting that I do not talk like that Aquarius I really don't but there's something about fluidity and there's, there's an acceptance here, which I absolutely adore. Beautiful reading. It just flowed, didn't it? All right, let's get a few cards from the universe. <coughs> you can't make this up, the Knight of Wands. Someone has their eye on you, Aquarius. It's like, okay. So what I'm getting is you're this happy little mermaid or merman, right? You're floating around, minding your own business, looking absolutely wonderful and magnetic. And you catch the eye of somebody, of a sailor, let's say, or, or whoever, I don't care. And they're mesmerized. This person is mesmerized by your energy because you've blossomed. There's, there's, there's a freeness here there's an openness here there's an innocence here this tower was probably the best thing that happened to you because it, it's broken you out of that box there's so much attraction here it's insane more fire strength leo energy i feel like once mars enters leo which is around the 20th of may that is when you may start seeing action because again with mars and cancer Mar I, I keep mentioning mars 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 i don't know why that there's a reason um with mars being in cancer now cancer is the crab archetype right it moves sideways it, it doesn't move full steam ahead it doesn't move forward but if Mar when mars enters leo mars will be happy there right because it is fire fire and fire together that is when people are going to get that conviction to to take action to take charge to take the lead to 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 operate from a place of the heart so again if things are feeling stagnant that's changing the strength card also for me is a card of unconditional love and you are attracting that because like attracts like i see you loving yourself unconditionally which is where that lightness of spirit is coming from so that's what you're attracting and then we have the eight of pentacles hard work this lightness of spirit that i have been ranting on about how beautiful let me get to this in a minute hasn't come easy to you you've had to put in a lot of work some of you may have had a dark night of the soul i don't want to make light of this situation because this transition that you have been through the fool has to go through the entire tarot to come back to itself 
right so it's like you've been through an ordeal the tension and flow you've been through an ordeal you've been through that tower to reach the star energy you've put in the work in yourself that's why this is coming about for you the universe will only help those who help themselves you've been helping yourself and the queen of cups you've been trusting your intuition i have been talking about intuition and the mind and pallas athena she was a greek goddess you need to google her try and understand her archetype and how she functioned and she was fierce right and the fool again beautiful we have the seven of swords i'm not going to look at that i just feel like you're sneaking away from anything that that pulls your energy down the queen of cups is again no gender is someone who's very open who's not afraid to be vulnerable and someone who trusts their intuition above anything else and trust the universe to take that leap of faith there's no fear here anymore i don't see any fear aquarius and i'm here for it i absolutely love it you are looking extremely magnetic to someone or maybe more than one someone but we shall see let me know in the comments all right that was it aquarius i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye